Okay, looks like problem number one. Uh, simplify by adding like terms. Problem number 15, which looks like we have to combine like terms first on one side and then move over. And is that problem number 12, looks like? Looks like we have like terms on one side, combine and move over. Okay. Um, so let's do those first. If there's any others that come to mind that we should work through, let's do it. Cool? Can I close this? Yeah. We good? Three, two, one. Wait. wait. Clearing. All right. So problem number one, we have... Uh, Uh, 12 minus 5x plus 8y plus 4 minus 2x minus 3y. Okay. Oh, before I forget, some of you are new, so I want to make sure you guys know my policy. If you got to go to the restroom, you don't have to ask me. I mean, just don't do like 40 of you at a time. You know, if you need to use the restroom, you understand that you need to use the restroom. You don't need to let me know. Um, Please take it upon yourself. Uh, the guy's bathroom is locked down here, I think, for some reason. So the closest one, I think, would be go up these stairs, and then there's a hallway about even with us going that way. And I think there's one there. And there's also a, a girl's restroom there. But I also think the girl's restroom is probably called the open. So I don't know why the guy's keeps his, his closed, but who knows? You know, between each other's things. All right, so um, hey, problem number one, are we solving it for a letter? Why? How do you know? No equal sign. No equal sign. Okay, if we don't have an equal sign, that doesn't mean we're not going to add an equal sign. We're not going to add anything to the problem. All that we're going to do on this one is we are going to, you know, go over or get rid of our parentheses. If we need to distribute, we need to distribute. Um, and go from there. So what technical what number is in front of this if there's not one sitting there? A one. So technically you're distributing a one over both of those. Both of the signs to the problem will stay the same. Okay, so far. What's sitting in front of this being there's just a, a plus sign? One. one, so it's positive one, so distribute here and here. So the signs will stay the same. What's sitting here with in front of that, even though there's a subtraction sign? Okay, so it's gonna be actually a negative one like that. So I'm gonna distribute that here and here. I'm gonna get this. And that's positive three y, I think. Does that look okay? Okay, so we talked about it last time. I'm not the biggest stickler in the world saying, hey, it has to be in alphabetical order, and descending order, and all those kind of things. Put it in the order that's most comfortable for you. So I think if you combine 12 and 4 together, oh, that's pretty easy. There's 16 of them. We're just counting. And we're counting a negative and a negative. So if you go into a store, you have no money in your pocket. Something costs $5, something costs $2. How much do you owe? So negative, negative 7x. And then we're going to combine those together. So how many y's do we have? 11. Done. Does that make sense? Next problem is like number 15. Can I clear the ink off here? All right. Clearing. Uh, number 15. So we have uh, 12, we're going to subtract 3x from that, equals x minus 4 plus 4x. Okay, uh, are 12 and negative 3x like terms? No, I can't combine them together. Do you understand that okay? I can't combine them by adding or subtracting them. Um, on the other side, I have x, I have negative 4, and I have positive 4x. So what are my two like terms up there? 4x and x. So this is a like term, and this is a like term. So I'm going to go 12 minus 3x equals 5x minus 4. Okay, so I combine like terms on the right side so far. My next step in doing these, it's a good idea to just make a vertical line. That vertical line represents what now? What's that vertical line going to represent? What? Different sides. So the equal sign is the divider, and the red line is going to indicate this is basically the equal sign. I'm just showing you both sides. So this is one of the problems where I can subtract 12 from both sides, or I can add 3x to both sides, or I can subtract 5x from both sides, 
or I could add four. Where's the right space to or wait? The right place to start wherever your mind is making it work. Okay, so I might go, and this might not be the exact order that you want to do, but I might add four to both sides. Okay, why did I pick there? I don't know. Just thought it would look okay to do. Those will cancel. That's going to give me 16 minus 3x. I still have the equal sign, which the red line is representing. And then what's over on this side now? Just 5x. And remember, I want to get x by itself. And do I really, am I concerned that the x is on the right side or the left side at all? It's not going to bug me all too much. So I think we should move the x's to the right side. So what should my next step to this problem be? Add 3x to both sides. I like it. So if I add 3x, that cancels out. What am I left with on the left side? Just a 16. What do I have on the right side now? 8x. How are 8 and x being held together? Multiplication. multiplication. What's the opposite of multiplication? Division. So I'm going to do what to both sides to get x isolated by itself? Divide each side by 8. Reduce where you can. 16 over 8 is the same thing as? What? 2. So 2 is equal to x. So I guess you could say that x equals 2 if you wanted to have it like that, or if you wanted to say that's the correct answer. Both are appropriate. Is that okay? And I know some of you are sitting there going, gosh, why did he add 4x to both sides first? Because I added 3x to both sides first. Cool. Again, it's kind of your choice. You've got to choose where to start on this. And, you know, a lot of times in math, you don't have a choice of where to start. But when you're solving for things, sometimes you could start on one side or the other and uh, make it work nicely. And then problem number 12 looks like the last one was asked about. Can I clear this? Okay. Number 12. Says uh, 2x minus 6 plus 4x is equal to 18. Okay, so first step maybe. Yeah. Add the 2x before the 6. Yeah, on the left side we have like terms. I have a 2x and I have a 4x. And if I count those, how much do I have? 6x. And then I still have the negative 6 or the minus 6 up there. What do I have on the right side of the equal sign? 18. I didn't draw a vertical line down this one because I didn't move anything back or forth. So now I'm going to draw that vertical line. Let's see what you can do. I want to get x by itself. What would be a first step? Yeah. Uh, add 6 and then add 6. Yeah, I like it. Add 6. That cancels out, right? What do I have on the left side? 6x. What do I have on the right side? How much? 24? Yeah. And then how are 6 and x being held together right now? Multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is? Division. I like it. Alright. Let's go here. Go here. Cancel. x equals 4. So someone might have looked at it and said, why well, see 12 over 3? You're absolutely right, but it still could reduce down further from 12 over 3 to equal 4. Was there any other questions that sprung up on that sheet that I needed to hit? Yeah? Um, I think it's 16. 16. Let's do it. Can I clear this? Clear an ink. <coughs> Number 16. I have 4a minus 2a plus 7 is equal to 5a minus 5. Okay, uh, do I have any like terms on either side that I can combine? If so, which side? Left side and what are they? Okay, so these are definitely like terms. If I'm just counting those, what do I get? Positive 2a, just 2a. Okay, and I'm going to add 7 still equals 5a minus 5. Um, I'm going to draw that vertical line now. Okay, so now I have four terms left. I could subtract 2a from both sides. I could subtract 7 from both sides. I could subtract 5a from both sides. Or I could add 5. Reese, your question, which one do you want to do? Um, you could add, but you still can't really do a lot. 
So can I, are they on the same side? No. So I can't combine them together. Oh, sorry, I'll try to like get rid of the five and bring them back. Okay, so what do you want me to do? It's your choice. Your choices are <laughs> subtract two A, subtract seven, subtract five A, or add five. Your choice. Uh, subtract five A. Subtract five A. Okay, I like it. So I subtract five A. These are gone, right? Over here, I have two A. And I'm subtracting 5A. So that's like saying I have $2 in my pocket. I see something that costs $5. Do I owe the store money if I buy it? Yes, I do. How much do I owe? Three. So if I owe, it's a negative 3A. And then I still have plus 7. What do I have on that side? Negative 5. Notice the negative came along for the ride. Reese, talk to me. What should we do next? Hold it on. Um, Remember, we're trying to get A all by itself, so we're moving things away from A now. Wouldn't you uh, divide 7 by 5? So I'm not going to divide it, though. I'm sorry, I'm talking about add. I'm adding 7 right now. Undo 7. Uh, so minus 7. No, you're not. You're on the right track. You're, you're saying operations. This is a positive 7. What would undo it to make that nothing? trying to cover up the negative 3 a. What would I have to do? I'm taking a con a portion, adding 7 to it. What should I do to move it over? Say it. I know it's there. You already hit two of them. With subtract. Okay. Yeah, buddy. All right. So we get that. That's gone, right? Because the opposite of addition is subtraction. So I have negative 3 a is equal to Negative 12, yeah, something costs $5, something costs $7. I have no money in my pocket, so I owe the store $12. Last step, how is negative 3 and 8 being held together? Multiplication. multiplication, the opposite of multiplication is division. I'm going to take that negative along for the right as well. Those are gone. I still have A left. Negative over negative is? Positive, 12 over 3 is? Love it. All done. We good to go? You got a question? 14. Yeah. Okay. Can I clear? Reese, you feel good about that one? Yeah, I do. Yeah, bud. All right. 14 is the next one up on the agenda. I have M equals 2M plus 1. That's a good problem. And you know what? I, I like this problem, Christian. I think a lot of students might say, you know what, I'm going to subtract M from both sides. And technically it could go that way, but all of a sudden it looks kind of weird. Because you get zero on one side and then people panic going, uh oh, there's nothing there. Um, I think I personally would, I don't know, I, I don't have like terms on the same side, but I think if I do this, I could do that, those are going to cancel. Do you feel comfortable with that? Okay. Uh, and then I have 1M, and I'm subtracting 2M, so I have a dollar in my pocket, something costs $2. Do I owe it or get money back? I owe how much? So 1M, and negative 1M is just negative M. So I get negative M is equal to 1, but I want the variable, the letter, to be positive. So what should I do to both sides? Yeah, multiply both sides by the negative, or just swap the signs on both sides. So this is our answer there. Cool? Hmm. I think we're okay. Yes? No? Can I uh, move on to the notes? Sweet. Let's see what we can do here. Uh, clear ink. All right. Um. All right, um, our warm-up is 4x plus 5 and 2x minus 11. And if it's ever too small a font, I always welcome you to come on up. You can sit on the floor up front and take notes. That's totally chill with me. You guys know what my ideal classroom is? Bean bags. Yes. How sweet would that be? You're like, dude, you're like, yeah. Can we have bean bags? I, you know, I have to share the room with others, so... 
that'd be tight. Bring your own bean bag. Kid walks across the campus, got the big old bad boy. Yeah, where are you going now? Yeah. <laughs> Mr. Silver, yeah. what? All right, uh, first problem is 4x plus 5 equals 2x minus 11. This is just a warm up. Uh, it doesn't have a whole lot of uh, directions to it, but what do you feel we're trying to do on this problem? Are, are we combining like terms or are we solving it for letter? What do you think? Solving it. What sticks out to you that says we're solving it? The equal sign. Okay, so that very first problem I need to go through, so I'm going to bring that, make that vertical. Um, and I think going through it, I might choose to subtract 5 on both sides. And of course, I'm going to run out of room. So that gives me 4x is equal to 2x. And then negative 11 added or combined with negative 5 is negative 16. Is that OK? What would the next step be on this problem? Okay, 4x equals 2x minus 16. What do you think? Subtract 2x. Subtract 2x. I like it. So we still have this coming down. Subtract 2x. OK. So 4x and I'm taking away 2x. What do I have? 2x. So I'll bring it up here. And then these are gone. What do I have it equal to? Negative 16. Is the problem done yet? How are 2 and x being held together? Multiplication. How do, what do it undoes? Opposite operation of multiplication is division. So I'm going to do what to both sides? Divide by 2. And so I'm going to get x is equal to negative 8. Come on. Must be running out of ink or something. OK. I get that. This is just like what we've been working on. May I clear that off there? OK. Oh, you know what I forgot to do? And I'm so sorry. Oh my gosh. I can't believe I forgot to do this. Get out your cell phones. Get them out. Find somewhere. And turn it off. All the way off, please. Leave it out on your desk, but have it all the way off. I apologize. I did not mean to. To screw that up. That way, if it, mine goes off, it's going to voicemail and same with yours, and it won't disrupt your education. Oh, you turned it on? Yes, because it didn't. Oh, I'm sorry. You, you can power it off. I always ask people to power it off. Because I'm the guy, like, if I hear mine go ding, I'm like, dude, I gotta get it. I gotta figure out who it is. And if I, if I think I do that, I think y'all might do that too. Um, Hey, Christian, this is similar to that problem you asked me about just a minute ago. It's kind of that goofy one. I have y equals 2y plus 1. Do what? y would equal 1? Almost. Where should I start? Yeah. y equals negative 1. y equals negative 1? OK, how'd you get there? It might be one. I don't know. I can't do it in my head. I'm sorry. I have to give one to both sides. Oh, OK. So you went this way. So that gave me y minus 1 on one side and 2y on the other. Is that what you did? Yeah, and then after that, I subtracted y from both sides. Oh, OK. I like it. Subtract y, subtract y. So you did a little flip-flop. So I get negative 1 equals y. So that's why I like it. I agree with that. And you know how we did it last time? Last time we would have subtracted the 2y and then changed the sign. But it's the same answer. Good call. I like it. Third problem, I have 3x minus 2x. That's going to be equal to 6 plus 4x. Do I have like terms on the same side at all? If so, what are they? What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, what? Which ones? Yeah, buddy. All right, those are definitely like terms. 3x, I'm taking away 2x from it. What do I have? X. x. Is this, that the same thing as 1x? Yeah, so I'm going to just call that x. Equals 6. Oops. Come on. Plus 4. X. OK, what should I do from there? Hey, this kind of looks like this problem a little bit now. So I could. 
Subtract 4x. Okay, I like it. I'm going to subtract 4x. If I subtract 4x away from x, what do I have on this left side? Negative 3x. Very good. So I have negative 3x over there, and that's going to be equal to 6. So negative 3x and negative 3 and x are being held together how? Multiplication. What undoes multiplication? Division. I'm going to divide both sides by negative 3. Make sure the negative comes along for the ride. That cancels, so I get x equals 6 over negative 3 is what? Negative 2, good. There we go. I'm starting to understand this now. I'm getting real good at it. My goodness, is this an English teacher? Some of you are never going, are you serious? No idea why this eraser is so slow. It's erasing. If I have the pen in my hand, does it make it slower? Yeah. Just for a heads up. That's awesome. Woo! Okay. Notes for today. Notes for today. So that was just a warm up. Let's see what we got. Problem number one, we have three parentheses, k plus 8 equals 21. Thoughts? Distribute what? I like it. I'm going to distribute the three over the parentheses right here. Here and here. So I'm going to get 3k plus 24 is equal to 21. What do you think? That makes sense? Is there any light terms I have on one side or the other? No. Next step should be what? Subtract 24. And I can go ahead and draw the vertical line if I'd like, but I'm going to just, I think we can see this okay. Uh, that cancels that. I have 3k on the left. On the right, I have negative 3. What should I do to both sides? Divide by 3. 3 and k are being held together by multiplication. Do this. So I'm going to get k equals negative 1. Sweet. Problem number two, I have negative two out in front of the parentheses, and I have x minus three inside the parentheses, and that's all going to be equal to 12. So what should I do? Distribute. distribute what? Negative two. So distribute the negative two over the parentheses, here and here. So I get negative two x plus six equals 12. Okay, I can draw. I can draw that vertical line in place to make the equal sign, but I don't necessarily need to. What should I do to both sides? Subtract six. Subtract six. I like it. So that cancels that. So I get negative two x is equal to six. Okay. Last step. How are negative two and x being held together? Multiplication. How do I get x by itself? Good. Divide by negative two. A lot of students want to ignore the negative. No, it comes along for the ride. Okay, those cancel. So x equals 6 over negative 2, which is? Yeah. All right. Huh. May I erase? Am I going too fast at all? Dude, hang on. Okay, let's... Get rid of the ink. Why am I supposed to get rid of the ink? Is there a thing up here? No, the clear ink isn't there. My God. Bless you. Clear and ink. Pens are down. Erasing. We actually have this board calibrated. We Most boards, you have six calibration points. We had to make this one 20. It just, for some odd reason, just doesn't want to play with the computer in the right way. Not sure why. All right, number three. Thoughts? Equal signs or solving? Okay, do I distribute the negative 3 to the 9 as well? No. 
It's on the same side though. Come on. I want to do it this time. Sure? Okay. So the negative 3 is being distributed over the parentheses only. Even though you have the positive 9 that's still on the same side, the negative 3 goes to just what's inside the parentheses only. So it goes here and here. So I get 15 is equal to negative 3x plus 3 plus 9. Hey, why did it become plus 3? Because you're multiplying by negative. Negative and negative, right? Uh, I do have like terms. I have 15 is equal to negative 3x plus 12. And I think we could solve that pretty easily. Does anyone need me to solve that now? You okay? You want to solve it? Okay. Uh, what do you think? Subtract 12. Subtract 12. Subtract 12. Uh, it's going to be 3 equals negative 3x. Divide by negative 3. So I get x equals negative 1. Is that right? Problem number 4 looks very similar. What do you think? <coughs> God bless you. I'm sorry. No. Someone from the left side. What should we do? What should we do? What should we do? It's going to be what? Negative 2 over what? Yeah. Alright. Negative 2 goes here and here. So 6 equals negative 6x. Negative 2 times negative 5 is positive 10, right? Equals 40. Do I have any like terms? What are they? Six and ten? Am I adding them or subtracting them? What's the sign on six oh, right wait, here? Never mind. So add, right? Yeah. Because it's positive six, positive ten, so I get sixteen equals or sixteen minus six x, excuse me, equals forty. Next step would be next step. There's no sign in front of the 16. It's got to be what value? Positive. So how do I undo a positive? Subtract 16. So I'll subtract 16 from both sides. Once I subtract 16 from both sides, what do I do? So that's gone now. What would I do with the negative 6x? Divide by what? Negative 6. So I'd be subtracting 16. That's going to give me negative 6x is equal to 24. And then divide by negative 6. Oh, I ran out of room. Divide by negative 6. So x is equal to negative 4. Hmm. Can I clear that off there? Because I know there's a whole lot more stuff. In fact, let me do this. I'm actually going to... Just write 4 minus 7 minus 2x plus 4x plus 3. That's one of them. I like this one too. Okay. Okay. So I'm going to go with this. All right. I'm going to rewrite that up there. This is not the... Bad pen. So I have 4 minus 7 minus 2x plus 4x equals 3. Thoughts. Thoughts, thoughts, thoughts. Distribute what? Why is that? Sweet. So there's a 1 there and it's negative. I'm going to distribute that here and here. This 4 comes down. And then what's this? Yeah. And then what's this? Plus 2x. Plus 2x. Awesome. Plus 4x. That comes down. Equals 3. Do I have like terms on the left side? Yes. What, do, what are they? 4, negative 7. There's, there's one set. And then this is the other set. So what do I get here? Negative 3. And what do I get here? 
6x equals that 3. What should I do to both sides now? Adding 3, it's a negative, so the, I'm going to do the opposite of that. Just cancel. 6x on this side equals 6. How do I undo 6 and x? Division. Uh, if it reduces all the way down, it's the same thing as what? Sweet! And I had that last problem I wanted to work out real quick, and then there was something else on the other page. Can I clear this? Yep. Anyone still looking at it? If you need it, it's recorded at like minute 31. 3x minus 4x. We're solving it because there's equal signs. Do I have like terms? Like terms are here. What do we get? Negative 1x or just negative x, right? Where do you think people are going to goof up on this problem? They don't like that negative sitting in front of the x, so they just stop putting it. They're like, ah, I'm not going to put it. But it has to come along to the right. What should I do to get x by itself right now? Subtract 6 from both sides. I like it. Those cancel, so I get negative x. Again, a lot of times it's negative from here to here. It goes bye-bye. Then I have a negative x equals a negative 8. So what does x have to equal? Yeah, just change the signs on both sides, which just means you multiply on both sides by the negative 1 in order to get there. You feeling all right about it? Poke your neighbor in the eye if they're not paying attention right now. Wait, wait, that was my good eye. I'm sorry, my sarcasm's got me bad today. So this uh, smart board is not too smart today. Might be user error though. It that could be. Might be. Done. Hey, how's the, I got I gotta ask you all this because I don't know. Any of you eaten on campus? And if so, is the food that they're serving pretty good? Yeah. It's unbelievable. Like it's really who says it's unbelievable? Not bad. It was really, good. really. It's really good. Yeah, dude, I love hearing that. I think that's sweet. Who misses it? What's that? Six stars? The food's good? Like, like truly, you think? Oh, I, I like hearing that. Hey, uh, now, this is where, like, I don't like math, and this is where I know a lot of you don't like math, is when we start incorporating words into it because we want to act as math people, we are literate. Yeah, we were like, you're like, dude, why do you want to mix up this story stuff in math? You know, I, I'm sorry. So let's write out an equation. Negative 4 times the sum of a number and 5 equals negative 24. Are you kidding me? Okay, now the only thing I really understand up here right now is I get equals negative 24. I think I get that okay. Is that okay so far? Yeah. All right, um, negative 4 times. So this negative 4, this means we have a negative 4 that's coming along the mix. Times the sum of a number and 5. Uh, well, it could be. All right, hang on, let's walk through this slow. Negative 4 times. You okay with the negative 4 times? Negative 4 is being multiplied times something. And then equals negative 24. Are you okay with that? And then times the sum of a number and 5. Well, the sum of a number, sum means adding. 
And where I struggled with this when I was a kid is like, why don't you just say adding to? No, you just sum up. But adding to. And I struggled with that. And that was like, you know, when I was in ninth grade. But it may have been worse. Okay, so then you would just go ahead and solve that. And distribute the negative 4 over the parentheses. Move everything around and go from there. Um, 2 times the sum of a number and 5 is 32. Well, the word is in math means equals. So I have is 32. And then 2 times the sum of a number and 5. 2 times the sum of a number and 5. Be written like that. So you got to go slow on these. I think a lot of times when you're reading it, you know, understand words you know, such as is means equals. Um, sum means addition. Product means multiplication. You know, there's different terms that they might use in here. So just be cautious how you go through these. And then I do believe they want you to solve them. So for this evening, I would like you all to work on worksheet 6A. Worksheet 6A. And I would say if you do not have this book yet, I would strongly urge you to turn your phone on if you have the camera capability, and take a picture of your neighbor's book. And I will accept that as, you know, for your assignment. Does that sound okay? Until you can get that book, and that would be perfect. Sound good? Sweet. This is all recorded.